Um, I just ate a cookie and it was really good. It's National Dessert Day. So hopefully you ate some good dessert. Um, doing a cookie all in my teeth. For today's horror movie, or day, I watched The Legend of Hell House, which is from 1953 and based on a novel by Richard Matheson, who passed away last year. And it starred Pamela Franklin, Ronnie McDowell, Clive Ravel, and Gail Honeycutt. It's always good when Gail Honeycutt shows up. Um, it was directed by John Hugh, H-O-U-G-H, H -O -U -G -H. Oh. <laughs> probably you um whole with a weird last name I'm not British I don't know what I'm I don't know how to say anything um I enjoyed it it's a good addition to the haunted house canon you know like um the haunting which remains the 1963 version remains the scariest movie I have ever seen uh Ronnie McDowell's good he's always good that's two horror movies with him now I've seen this October um, there was, it was one of those movies where it was a lot of creepy sounds more so than, you know, there was like a few shock moments, but it was mostly creepy sounds, a really great score. Um, let's see if this listed on here. Um, it was an electronic score. Uh, I can't find the, there we go. Oh, it was by Delia Derbyshire and Brian Hodgson, and you know, it's been a pretty early electronic score because it's 73. Um, that really added to the creepy atmosphere. You know, you gotta have the right score if you want that to really feel right. And that score was, was legitimately creepy. Sort of reminded me of like Goblin or um, my favorite Tangerine Dream. Huh, any movie that has a Tangerine Dream score. You're in for a good time. Um, it's got a lot of twists and turns and things. Oh, um, if you don't like violence with animals, I wouldn't watch it. There's some stuff with a cat that's a little gruesome. Uh, so, yeah, if you, you you have a thing with, you know, violent animals and or violence towards animals, don't watch this. Um, that said, it's clearly a puppet. If that helps at all, I don't know. Uh, what else? Pamela Franklin was very good. Um, you know, this is the one thing I do have to say, like, towards the end of the movie, like, the doctor guy who had, like, a machine he built to try to deal with um, the electromagnetic energy, electromagnetic, magnetic energy of ghosts and everything, he... he like towards the end of the film he started you you know making it work and everything but for like two-thirds of the movie for a bunch of experts like it was supposed to be two mediums and then the doctor and I don't know what else, what else for a bunch of experts like they really didn't do much and like most of the movie was them like in their bedroom or hanging out in the lounge or whatever it wasn't they weren't really there's a lot of action where they were like, I'm an expert and I'm doing expert things, which you would sort of think there'd be more of. Um, like, you know, in, in um, The Haunting and in, definitely in the remake of The Haunting, I can't remember now if the first, the first one, but like the one with Liam Neeson, Liam Neeson is like always floating around with little machines and stuff. Um, I forgot Liam Neeson was in that. <laughs> Um, and Lily Taylor, she's very good. Uh, I haven't seen that one since I saw it in theaters. It scared the crap out of me also. So well, basically the haunting just scares me. Um, yeah, so if you like haunted house movies, I would definitely recommend this. You check out this film, The Legend of Hell House. It's still on Netflix. Uh, keep watching horror movies. You got two weeks in the noir November. Hashtag. <laughs> it's the hashtag symbol. Uh, Noir Vember. Facebook slash Noir Vember. Look it up. Lots of helpful links on the Facebook page to help you watch Noir in November. Have a good night.